Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ruby's Kitchen. This is Ruby's son, Rufi, doing this translation for you today. Today we will be making these amazing, simple sea kebab rolls, and that even in my style. So let's get started. If you like our videos, click on the subscribe button. Right next to it, you'll find the bell icon. By clicking on that, you'll receive notifications for our recipes first and free. If you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making the chutneys and there's a reason for that. See, we're going to be grinding the meat in the same blender. So we're going to make the chutney first and then we're going to grind the meat later. So the meat will be just more flavorful. So we're going to add a little bit of mint, about a half a cup or so. We're going to be making a really fragrant and refreshing chutney. To this, we're going to add a large handful of cilantro. If it's a little more or less, it doesn't really matter. And to this, we're going to be adding a teaspoon of garlic paste. If you don't have garlic paste, you can just add a few cloves of garlic. And now to this, we're going to be adding three dried red chili peppers. Ours are not really spicy, but if yours are, you can add less or more and a teaspoon of salt. And to this, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of water. And now we'll just seal this up. Let's grind it. All right, now to this, we're going to be adding some green chili peppers. I'm going to be adding two. You can add more or less. It really depends on your taste. All right, we're done with that. And now here we have a cup of yogurt. We're going to be adding our chutney to the yogurt. So we're just going to stir it up a bit. If your yogurt is sour, it'll taste okay as well. Sea kebab is an item that everybody loves eating, and this is a very fast recipe. There's not a lot of required spices. We're just going to make it quick and easy. It's perfect for iftari and lunch boxes, a lot of things. Just keep an eye out on the spices, like the green chilies for the kids. So we'll just go ahead and add our chutney to the yogurt. And now see, we don't have to actually worry about the blender anymore. If there's a bit of chutney left in the blender, it's going to be even better. But if we had grinded the meat before, we would have had to wash it or we would have had to use another blender. And during Ramadan, it's best if we work the least so we can pray the most. So now our chutney is ready to go. We're just going to add a little bit of lemon at the end. And in the same blender, we're going to be adding approximately half a cup of onions. So I'm just going to be adding a piece that big. I'm just going to cut it into four and uh, just put it into the blender. We'll add a few green peppers. We're just going to cut them roughly add those in and uh, here we have some red peppers these will give it a really nice color and these aren't really spicy if you have them you can add them if you don't they're optional all right so we're gonna be putting in the remaining cilantro that we have we had a whole bunch we used half of it in the other chutney and we're gonna add the other half here in this recipe, we're actually trying to use the least amount of spices and the most amount of fresh ingredients that we can. So here we have about two tablespoons of mint. We're just going to add those into the blender as well. All right. See, look. We have some ground meat here. It's two pounds. And we've washed it and we've dried it thoroughly. If you're washing your meat, I would suggest that you wash it a day before and keep it in a strainer and put a cloth on top so that it's really dry. So I'm using ground mutton here, but you can use chicken or beef, whatever you'd like. So now we're going to go ahead and add this to the food processor. That's it. 
see we've grinded half of the meat with our spices and we don't want to really grind it really finely we need to grind it so that we can actually see that it's coarse we're going to add the remaining portion of the meat and to that we're going to add a few dry spices such as a teaspoon of crush and roasted cumin a teaspoon of crushed peppers a teaspoon of crushed coriander a teaspoon of red chili powder a teaspoon of black pepper and two teaspoons of salt so we've added all of this to the blender and to this we're going to be adding a tablespoon full of ginger paste and a tablespoon full of garlic paste and to this we'll add lemon juice I have a half a lemon here. I'm just going to squeeze it in. A lot of people ask me, you told me to keep all the ingredients dry in these kebabs, but how come you're adding lemon juice? But you'll need that much. That's fine. Half a lemon won't hurt. So now we'll just go ahead and close the blender and we'll grind it. All right. We don't want to really grind it a lot we'll just put it into the same bowl it's smelling so fragrant already all right that's done and now we're just gonna go ahead and mix it thoroughly you know you can actually make these and freeze them without cooking them you can cook them and freeze them life is set you can enjoy these in many different ways so we'll just mix it very well so we mixed a batch with our uh, fresh herbs and then we grinded the other half with our spices. So now we're actually mixing these together. Here we have a charcoal. We're just going to go ahead and turn on the stove. We'll take a medium sized ball about that size and we'll go ahead and insert the straw. After that, we'll just take a bit off from the top and we're just going to slowly press onto it and uh, mold the shape. See, we have some water here. We can slightly dip our hands in water and uh, mold it into the seat kebab. Now you're probably going to say Ruby Auntie is not becoming the seat kebab vendor. I'm selling these for 10 rupees just for you guys. So now we'll just go ahead and get this onto our plate. All right, just like that, we're going to make the other kebabs. We're going to make them quick and fast. And just like that, the way I have it here, you can exactly put these in the freezer. Just keep them on the tray and put them in the freezer. And once they're hard, you can go ahead and take them out into a Ziploc bag or uh, any type of container that you'd like. You don't need to do it traditionally where you have to take a large plate or something and then you have to put on the sea kebabs and use wax paper and then pile on the others. If you don't have space in the freezer, this is perfect. Just put them in the freezer. Once they're hard, put them in the Ziploc bag. All right, so let's go ahead and make our other kebab and we'll make the rest of them just like that. Just dip your hands in water whenever you need. But you just have to make sure that your ground meat doesn't have too much fat or too little fat. We didn't add any oil or clarified butter to help us in the molding process. But the, the key is to have dry ground meat. All right, now we're going to go ahead and turn on our stove to medium high. And on this side, we have an air fryer. We're going to be making these kebabs two ways in an air fryer and on the stove. The people that like air fryers and have them, you can see how they turn out. So we're going to go ahead and remove the lid and add some oil, three tablespoons. If you'd like, you can add less or more. It completely depends on you. I've kept it so that it's not shallow fried or deep fried. So now this is hot as much as we'd like it. We're going to go ahead and start adding the seat kebabs. All right. 
so our stove is on medium high and we're gonna go ahead and move towards the air fryer and we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of oil before we put them in that's it that looks good and now we're gonna go ahead and put them oil side down in the air fryer so that we can add oil on the top later on we don't want to overlap these kebabs you should just put as many kebabs as your air fryer allows and now we're gonna go ahead and spray some oil on the top as well we're gonna set it to 370 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna set the time to 16 minutes and it'll start automatically so let's move on to the pan and we're gonna flip the kebab that we put in first first it's been four minutes or so since these have been frying we've kept space here also we don't want to make the pan crowded by making the pan crowded you're gonna release moisture from the kebabs and once the moisture releases they're not gonna kind of be roasting they're gonna be like just cooking in the oil and we want these seek kebabs to be just like seek kebabs are so we've cooked the first side for four to five minutes and we're gonna cook the other side for the same time around four to five minutes we're just gonna turn the stove to medium all right so I have a piece of foil here that I've made into a little container and I'm gonna add the charcoal on top and on top of that just a bit of oil and we're just going to cover this up and we're going to wait for about five minutes. So we cooked five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side. And now we're going to cook it on five minutes here on medium low. If you don't like a lot of smoky flavor, you can just take out the charcoal whenever you'd like. I'm going to take out the charcoal in about two minutes or so, but we need to cook it on low for five minutes. So it's been two minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and take out the charcoal, cover it up again. So now total six minutes we've been cooking on very low heat and our kebabs look super delicious and ready and let's check our air fryer look at these kebabs these look amazing as well so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our rolls we're just gonna add that lime juice that I talked about in the beginning to the first chutney that we made so I've added about a tablespoon or so that's half a lime if you'd like you can add it if not no problem so we're done mixing that in and now we're gonna be using a paracha you remember we made a paracha together i'm gonna be adding a link here you should make it definitely it's amazing these type of soft paratas are perfect for like these type of rolls so we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, sea kebab on top of the paratha and now on top of that we're gonna add that yogurt chutney that we made add as much as you'd like more or little and now here I've just sliced very thinly these uh, white onions and I've just put in a little bit of uh, green peppers and cilantro it's gonna be just so tasty just add that on top like that and now we're just gonna roll it you can use any type of a uh, toothpick or uh, anything you'd like and just hold it in place It's smelling so good. Did you see how fast we made these six kebabs and these rolls? And even two ways in the air fryer and on the stove. Now you can give these to your kids for lunch boxes, make these for iftari, eat them for sari. So let me go ahead and try it now and tell you how it tastes look at these from the inside look at that and now i'm gonna dip this in the yogurt chutney mm. Mm. it's so refreshing and tasty it's amazing i'm telling you when you're gonna make these for iftari or sahari and you know how it is when you haven't been eating for a while and you eat these? Oh, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And did you see we didn't add a lot of oil? They're not heavy at all. And now, let me go ahead and show you the roll. Mmm. Oh. 
amazing. Both of these are the best in their own ways. You can eat these with naan, tandoor, chapati. And you can easily freeze these for days and a lot of them as well. But just remember to freeze them individually first. Just take them out whenever you'd like and defrost them and then just warm it up a bit and um, life is beautiful. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this translation, please do click on the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Love you all. Bye. Allah Hafiz.